This video is all about how to balance your schoolwork with your social life. Now, schoolwork, social life, they sometimes overlap and get in the way of each other. And as a student, currently actually finished my last day of third year today, I've had enough undergrad experience to understand that sometimes schoolwork gets in the way of social life and vice versa. My tip for you, and I've mentioned this in so many of my videos, is you actually have less work than you think. If you lay it out from morning, you give yourself, you wake up earlier. Waking up earlier is the key. Going to bed earlier is the key. Wake up and then make a plan to get your work done between the hours of like 6 a.m. and noon if you have that free on your schedule or you have a certain day where that's free and do that consistently every day. Leave that like four or five hour slot and that's a long time to do work, trust me. But if you have like a two, three hour of free time, get all of your work done then. Find a time you're free consistently every day and do it between those hours. Your mind will get you used to working at those times. Now, that's something we all struggle with. It's gonna take discipline, it's gonna take time. Set an alarm. If you have an iOS device, what you can do is you can open your, and I'm gonna get to the other devices, open your clock app, and then what you're gonna do is look at all my alarms here. I have a lot of alarms uh, for different purposes. So what I recommend you do is set that time. You can get it to go off Monday to Friday at the same times every single day. And what that's gonna do is signal you, hey, go do your work, and then you can get that done. If you're getting your work done at the same time every day, guess what? you can have a more flexible social life. And I know other things get in the way, but if you're doing something consistently every day, and listen, this is where it comes in. What's gonna account for the obstacles that come by, let's say, you get sick or something else happens is that you force yourself to consistently work every day even if you don't have a lot of work and you're able to relax. Sounds silly because we all need time to relax but if you force yourself to work one hour every single day which a lot of students can do Monday to Sunday they recommend you do at least one hour but who does that? If you actually do it Monday to Friday and you force yourself to do it your Friday you have like I don't know one assignment due in the near future you finish in 10 minutes, keep working for the other 50 minutes, do other stuff. The next day you have no work, find something to do. If you do that every single day, you're going to have way more free time. What I recommend doing is setting out a daily list of the tasks you have to do, the homework you have to do, the things you need to get done. Write that down. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, even Saturday and Sunday. Do that. Wake up at the same time. Go to bed at the same time. Very hard. You may think it's really obvious advice. Actually do it. It's difficult. Some things that helped me get to bed recently, I've been trying meditation using an app called Headspace. And Headspace has helped me, you know, kind of sort out my thoughts and think more presently in the moment. I always thought meditation was fluffy stuff. Then I looked at a lot of people who used it and it's really helped me calm my mind. I'm a very hyperactive person. I'm a very go, go, go individual. And that's really helped me out. So that's what I recommend. If you want to balance your social life and your school life, you need to find a happy medium. Get all that work done consistently every day so that it opens up more time slots for the rest of the day. Biggest tip, get the work done first, do the social stuff afterwards because social stuff is less predictable. Sometimes you go out, you're at a place longer than you expected. Don't do the social stuff first. Always do the work first because that's what's going to affect your enrollment in school. It's going to affect your GPA. Get all that out the way and then once you're done, get that social life on track. If you find that it's hard, I bet you haven't written out the schedule yet. You haven't done Monday to Friday. You haven't done the exact time every day. You're not getting to bed at the same time. You may say, I can't do that. I have these things to do. I have to answer emails at 11. Tell that person you're not answering emails at 11. I don't care. Figure out your mental health. Get that on track and you'll accomplish more and you'll do more work. You'll really make the coworkers, your relationships in your life, your boss, whoever's out there, your teachers, your professors, you'll make them happier because you'll be in a more organized headspace. So that's what I recommend you do. Uh, I'm not a sponsor of Headspace, that would be pretty cool. But anyway, try that app out. I think it's available on, it is available on Apple devices, but I think it's also available on Android devices, so give it a shot. Uh, if not, do whatever relaxes you. Have chamomile, that's I think been scientifically proven to relax you. And what's the other stuff? Um, anti-inflammatory properties, which is pretty cool. So does turmeric, and that has nothing to do with my video. Okay, I'm talking too much. Thanks for sticking around. Subscribe, what are you doing? Smash that button.